All right, Monday night's a big one. The Giants against the Lions. Monday night football at Ford Field in Detroit. And uh, the man who's going to be on the field, and he has not been on the field during the preseason because of an injury, but he's healthy now. John Beeson, and he joins us on the show. John, it's Michael Kay and Don LaGraca. How are you doing? Doing well. How's everything? Everything's great. So let's ask you, how's everything health-wise? Are you 100%? I feel great, man. It's it's coming back to me. It's good to get out there and get those... uh... You know, those physical reps, not just the mental ones that I've been getting throughout the uh, the preseason. Are you behind the eight ball at all after missing training camp? No, actually, I, f- I feel pretty sharp. Um, you know, for me, it just comes down to conditioning. And, you know, I've been doing what I can, and, you know, throughout the uh, throughout training camp. But, um, you know, I feel good, man. And running around, um, it's coming back fast. You know what amazes me about you, John? You, you came to the team in the middle of the year, and, and – Usually it takes a while for a guy to just integrate himself. You're one of the leaders of the team. You're a captain of the team. Is that just something that's in your DNA? Is that something that you said, when I come there, I'm going to be that guy? How did you do it so fast? Well, I think I was given the opportunity to be myself. Um, you know, as a Mike linebacker, you kind of have to orchestrate the defense. And, um, you know, it's a lot of responsibility. And I think if you do something consistently, guys follow you. So it's it's not just about... Um, you know, having that, that C on your jersey. But, you know, when, when your peers say they want to follow you, that's, that's really the biggest accomplishment you can have. Do you feel as a defense, John, that you're going to have to pick up the slack as this offense figures out, you know, where it's at with the new system? Do you feel uh, more responsibility in that first month maybe to play well? Well, I, I think we have a lot of pressure uh, on the defense side of the ball because we have a lot of talent. You know, there's a lot of money that was invested. And um, if you look around and you say, you know, there's there's some guys in the secondary, guys up front, guys at the second level, you know, this should be a pretty good defense. So, you know, we know that, um, you know, right off the bat that, that we should we should lead this team. And um, there is going to be a transition period offensively, but um, – you know, you know better than I do. It's all about game planning, and uh, you don't do that for the preseason. So we didn't we didn't show our hand on purpose, but um, I think people are going to be really surprised what they see on Monday night. John, obviously you were watching from the sidelines during the preseason, but us as the media and, and the fans, I mean, the, the offense really did look out of sync. So behind the scenes, was it struggling as much as it struggled during games? No, I, I honestly feel like, you know, once Coach, Coach McAdoo starts scheming, and based on what I saw throughout OTAs, uh, the different plays um, that they were running, the way they can create uh, matchups, moving around, uh, they make it very, very difficult uh, for, for a defense to go out and function at a high level. So um, I, I really feel like you'll see a different offense come Monday night. You know, 2011, JPP just took the world by storm, got to the quarterback. You know, it comes off of back surgery, not a great year last year. Are you confident that JPP can be what he was when he first came into this league? Well, you know, I was a fan from afar uh, when I was down in Carolina. But, um, you know, coming in, seeing him last year and, and the difference this year, him healthy, the way he's practicing, the way he pursues the ball, the the effort that he's giving. Um, I, I look for him to have a, a big year. Um, obviously, when you're a stud man, everyone's everyone's watching you. You're going to scheme around him. Where's number ninety? You want to chip him? You want to double team him? So, um, it's, even though if the, if the numbers aren't there, we know he demands a double team, and, and that means other guys got to step up. And you know, I feel good about you know that that group up front. We're very deep. I think we have some good players that are going to help us a lot. Giants linebacker John Beeson, our guest here on the Michael K. Show. How good is this secondary? All we keep hearing about, wow, this could be one of the best secondaries that you've ever seen. You're playing in front of it. What do you think of it? Well, I think those guys are savvy. you got a lot of experience back there, uh, vocal guys, um, guys who are extremely smart and they prepare. And, um, you know, when you're on the same page in, in terms of coverage, uh, it, it's hard to beat. Um, we got great guys that can play man to man, guys who understand zone concepts, and and we're deep. And you know, we, we got some guys on the bench that you know have have started other places, and you know we're going to do a good job of, of of utilizing everyone's talents and rotating multiple packages. I mean, we're going to be able to do a lot um, in the back end, so we should be uh, you know pretty innovative in terms of uh, our coverage this year. As you mentioned, you watched the Giants from afar when you were in Carolina. What was your impression of Tom Coughlin before you got here, and how was it accentuated once you had a chance to play for him? Well, you know, you, know, uh, you turn the game on, and, and, and for me, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is that, that Packers game when it was, I don't know, <laughs> negative six or whatever it was. And uh, you see that red face, and he's got that intense look on his face. And from afar, you just hear how, how stern he is, which he is. 
Um, but, you know, when you get in, you, know, you realize that he does have a personality, that he's not always business, even though he is business. And uh, he's a guy that's very consistent. And anytime time you got a guy that's consistent, that's, that's the, the mark of a true leader because he's the same guy every single day. You know what to expect from him, and, and it's easy to come, come work for a guy like that. So um, he truly, truly loves his players, and uh, he is Mr. Consistent in my book. All right, let's let's talk about this team that you're taking on on Monday. You got a, a real good quarterback. You got Megatron. You got Ebron. Uh, you've got Reggie Bush. Well, what what do you have to do to stop that offense? Well, they've improved big time. You know, I mean, they go out and and uh, spend spend some money in, in the draft. And you know, you obviously bring in Golden Tate, who's a very scrappy guy. Reminds me of of Steve Smith, who uh, you know I think the world of um, offensively. They're, they're just matchup nightmares. Um, so. Uh, we played them tough last year. Um, they're they're a really really good team, and then they have that that Saints background with with the new offensive coordinator. So we got our hands cut off for us, but you know we're doing a good job of studying them. Um, you know I've played played against uh, their, their style of offense now, and um, you know we we feel good about what what we're going to do. We're going to have a lot of stuff that that's that's in to, to kind of neutralize them and, and force Matt Stafford to uh, to think a little bit more. And um, you know if we stop the run, then you know we put everything on him. I'll tell you what, John, this is a tough, tough conference. I'm not sure there's going to be a playoff team other than the team that wins the NFC East. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I think I agree with that. And can you be that team to win the division? Yeah, well, you know how it is uh, with us, man. You, you, you never know. You can't call it. And, uh, you know, every game is, is it's a bloodbath. You know, guys are going to go out there and, and give it their all. So, um, you know, the season starts and everyone's like, oh, you know, this team, that team. And, and I'm sure Philly is like, you know what, we're tired of everybody talking about us. Just kind of let us play football. So sometimes it's good to be the hunter instead of the hunted. We're in what to watch for, driven by Rally Motors right now with John Beeson. If everything goes well, is this a team that can compete for a championship? Well, you know, the, the giant way is just getting the dance, man. Uh, you know, 9-7. and seven, Ten and six doesn't really matter, man. Just just getting the dance. We got to take care of our business one week at a time. And um, you know, I think you know as we go and, and you win, you build confidence. And uh, you know what, we we do have the pieces to the puzzle. We know that. So we're just trying to you know continue to work every day and get better and fine tune the, the small details. All right. Is there one thing that concerns you more than any other thing, John? That has to really click. Um, you know what? For for us on the defensive side, it's just that we we know we're talented. Um, we know we have to continue to work and prepare, but you know, for us, it's just going to come down to communication. If we can all just be on the same page, and you know, uh, you know, that's partly my fault. I haven't been out there, so I can't, I can't say, you know, we have been communicating or we're all on the same page. You know, you throw out a, a different guy in there, you kind of mess the vibe up a little bit. So uh, I'm just trying to, you know, get everybody on the same page, and if if we do that, I think we can be pretty scary.